planet earth which is filled with living and non-living things so many thousands of animals plants fishes birds and human beings and not just that so many varieties and millions of non-living things to help us so today we are going to learn about living and non-living things you all know the living things are having life and non-living things don't and the living things examples are ourselves we human beings animals plants plants too and fishes and birds number one is living things grow yes all living things grow like we human beings our moms carry us in the womb for nine months and then once we come out again we continue to grow till we are a fully grown adult we keep growing animals they are also mammals i'm sure you learned it in earlier units they also give birth to their babies so the babies are like cubs pups all these uh, born and then they grow into a fully grown dog or a fully grown lion or a fully grown bear yeah and then birds birds lay eggs fishes lay eggs so the once the egg hatches the babies come out then they also grow into a fully grown fish or a fully grown bird so we human beings animals and uh, birds and fishes we grow what about plants yes they grow from a seed when we sow a seed in the in the soil it grows into a sapling to a big plant sometimes a big tree the second difference between the living thing and the non living thing is they breathe yeah i can imagine that human beings and animals breathe but what about uh, birds and fish and even plants we don't see nose for them right actually some animals also we don't see nose but they still breathe like cockroaches so they have special things in their body that help them to breathe so in cockroaches it's the spiracles in fish they don't have nose but they have the gills and then of course the other other things are plants the plants are breathing through the stomata on the leaves so that's how the living beings breathe the next thing is living beings move yes we see human beings move animals move birds fly fishes move yes but what about plants some plants they move towards the sunlight yeah they are called sunflower plants then touch me nots remember those plants that will close the leaves when we touch or something even when we stamp with our legs they are very sensitive to the touch then the next one is the living beings eat they need food and water yes we learned that human beings have get a food from plant sources and animal sources then what about plants yes we have we know that the plants prepare their own food yes they do prepare their own food with the help of sunlight and and nutrients from the soil and that is called photosynthesis thank god that the plants make the food because then we can get yummy food to eat the next one is living beings can feel yeah living beings can feel the touch of pain touch of um, uh, any kind of uh, pricks those things can be felt by the living beings and non living beings don't feel anything at all then living th beings reproduce yes as we just discussed the the mammals the babies are growing in the mother's womb and then the other animals are like the birds are laying eggs fishes lay eggs etc <music>
are the things that separate the living things from the non-living things. Now what are the non-living things? They are naturally uh, available things or natural resources and also man-made things. Now the natural things what we see around us are mountains, rivers, lakes, volcanoes. These are many many things that uh, the nature gives us as nature's gifts. And then of course man-made things, everything that we see in our homes, we see our cars, we see books, furniture, everything is man-made. But we need both living and non-living things on the earth for the existence. We need the non-living things, right? And these are all there for our use. That brings us to the end of this unit.